Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a Bible review and I'm so excited about this because it's similar to the HCSB study Bible that I shared with you guys that I use for my devotionals. You can click the eye on the screen to see that video. But this is the updated translation, which is CSB, and it is the study Bible for women, and it is so pretty, you guys. I am loving this Bible. Now, I did receive this for free for review from BH Publishing through Lifeway, um, but this retails for $40, but on Lifeway, you can get it for like $27.99, if I'm not mistaken, so you can save a little bit of dollars on that, and um, like I said, it is a CSB translation. It is the Christian Standard Bible translation, yes, and um, it's basically from Homan. Homan switched from the HCSB to the CSB. Um, I don't know the full, uh, I guess, reason of why. I have researched it just a little bit, but I'll probably do a video on what the difference is between the two. But um, yeah, this is it. This is the hardcover. I think it's called the Turquoise and Sands. Um, and the floral pattern is definitely on the inside of the Bible. I'll quickly just give you guys a quick glimpse of how that looks. Quickly, if I can find a chapter that's, you know, available to do so with. Um, so here's Joe. Um, quick just view of how it's set up. And, um... Yes, I am going to do a walkthrough of this Bible with you guys, let you guys know my thoughts. This did release April 15th of this year, so um, it's fairly new, about a month, yeah, fairly new. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into this and do a first impressions video. Okay guys, so here is the Bible in all its glorious beauty, and isn't she just stunning? I love, love, love this little um, half dust jacket here. I'm loving the floral. I love how the font is placed. I'm loving the Bible color um, itself, but I'm going to take this off after I read some information to you guys about it because this Bible is just stunning in every way. So it just says the study Bible for women, Christian standard Bible, faith and true. On the cover, it says the study Bible for women. You flip that over. And um, actually on the spine, it just says CSB, the study Bible for women. And then on the back, it has some information that I'm going to quickly read to you guys if I can zoom in. And focus. Okay. So it says now available in the Christian Standard Bible or CSB translation with revised and updated content and a fresh new interior design. The CSB study Bible for women will equip you to reach deep into God's word as the most comprehensive Bible. I mean, sorry, as the most comprehensive study Bible ever prepared for women by women. The most powerful study features in the Bible are the threads of specialized study thoughtfully woven throughout the Sorry, thoughtfully woven throughout, pointing you to God's larger story and allowing the Holy Spirit to write his revealed truths on your heart. In the CSB Study Bible for Women, where you will join a host of other women, all academically trained in the original languages of the Bible and passionate about God's word for an intimately deep dive into the scripture that will equip you to unlock the riches and majesty of his word and ignite a passion to mentor others in your life to do the same. And the CSB Study Bible for Women features highly the Study Bible for Women features the highly readable, highly reliable text of the CSB Christian Standard Translation. The CSB makes it easy to engage with scriptures, life transforming message, and to share it with others. The features include extensive commentary notes, word studies, answers to hard questions, doctrinal notes, biblical womanhood articles, character profiles written on my heart applications extensive book introductions a presentation page in text maps charts and timelines concordance including all women in the bible full color maps smith sewn binding two column text 9.25 point font content outline and key verse for every book so that is what it says and i'm going to quickly take off the little gorgeous dust jacket And without the dust jacket, here's what the Bible looks like. Let me zoom back out for you guys. Um, okay, so there we go. 
and as you can see it just says the study bible for women on the front turquoise sand hardcover edition um tannish brown writing on the side nothing on the back and um again here is a look at the little dust jacket it is absolutely pretty. The inside just has some information as the editors are Dorothy Kelly Patterson and Rhonda Harrington Kelly. You guys would have heard those names if you saw my HCSB Study Bible Review as well as my King James Study Bible for Women Review. Um, and then on the inside it just has Revelations 22 6a. Then he said to me these words are faithful and true. And quickly comparing this to the old edition which is this bible here yes you've seen this before this is the hcsb study bible for women and look at the side it is the same thing the only difference is this is in the updated csb translation and i'll eventually do a comparison video for you guys on these but we're gonna just dive into this beauty so when you open it up let me get this in the middle of the camera all right, so you open it up and you get a presentation page, which I'm loving the florals in this. I'm a floral lover, so I think that's so pretty. Um, it says this Bible is presented to on whatever date, at whatever time or location, if you will, by whoever is giving it to you on the occasion of what that special occasion is. Moving on, you have your family tree. So this is for the wife. So you have the wife father and her mother her grandparents from the mother grandparents from the father same thing with the husband him his father his mother his mother's parents and his father's parents then you get the name that i can never pronounce the ketuba ketuba jewish marriage contract um so you have that here and then you have all the information over there to sign your family milestones Then your, your spiritual mothers that you can write and you can put their names, their spiritual gifts, and their spirit, scripture passage. Um, I'm definitely going to do that for the women in my life that are like my spiritual mothers, like my first lady, as well as the first lady of another church. And then Mother Furby from my church. I love those three ladies. They're amazing. So um, you have this over here. It says the Study Bible for Women, Christian Standard Bible. Again, same deal. Then you have your table of contents. Then you have your Old Testament, your Old Testament continued then to the New Testament. And you guys have seen this if you looked inside of the HCSB study Bible that I have. Um, again, you can just click the on the screen for that. Then you have an introduction to the study Bible written by Dorothy Kelly Patterson. You get an article by her on how to study the Bible with some tips. about the hermeneutics I have no idea about any of that stuff which I probably should learn about that I'm um, an article by Rhonda Harrison Kelly about the Christian life the introduction to the CSB which I will be reading um, this as well as reading the one on the HCSB just to understand the differences You have your transliteration charts for the Greek and the Hebrew, your table of weights and measures, so your weights and your lengths. And what I like is that they have the biblical unit, the language that it's from, the biblical measure, then you have your U.S. equivalent, your metric equivalent, and then you also have various translations for it, which I love that because it makes it easier to understand. Um, your abbreviations used in the CSB, and then you can dive into the Old Testament. So, I'm loving how it looks. So here we have Genesis, and I'm actually going to flip ahead to Esther since we're studying Esther in my group, of course. Um, if you guys don't know, you probably will have already seen Esther's chapter 1 through 4, probably 5 as well. Um, but let's go ahead to Esther. So first off, here is the first bookmark. It is this gorgeous kind of greenish teal color. I really like it. But, um, okay, so, you get your Who Wrote the Book of the Bible. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. But you get Who Wrote It, um, the recipient of it, when it was written, where it happened, like the location of it, um, what it's about, why women should read the Bible, and how do you read Esther. Then you get an outline here. 
and you get your scriptures obviously then you have your commentary section here you have a timeline down at the bottom you get little maps in between okay so here is some of the extra resources and references they have within the Bible so you have your character profiles so this one is on Bashti you have your word studies on different types of words which is cool Then you have your hard questions which are like questions that you would want to ask but don't really want to ask if that makes sense so like they're hard questions and that's how they wrote it you have your biblical womanhood which is um, basically articles written about topics in the Bible then you have your doctrines so this one is on divine appointment your word study your commentary um, you still get your little footnotes as usual And then you have this chart here, which is about the festival of, of Purim, 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 I think it's say how you say it, Purim. Um, and then you have this written on heart. So written on my heart is basically like an overview application type of thing for the book that you read. Or it could be a prayer, um, which is great. At the bottom, you have the word study. You also have a look at the Jewish calendar, which I think is cool. Um, and then here's the chart of the Jewish calendar matching that. And then diving into the next chapter, um, the next book, which is Job, same kind of concept, who wrote it, the recipients, when it was written, where did it happen, what it's about, why women should read it, and how to read Job, your outline, your timeline at the bottom, commentary notes, your footnotes, and then your scripture text. Again, your hard question is here, your word study, you get charts throughout. The font is really legible, which I like. Here's another character profile. Two more hard questions. And I'm just looking and flipping through to see if there's anything else. I really like this setup compared to the HCSB that I have. I really do. I really do. And I'm, I'm definitely going to do a comparison because the way the commentary is set up is very different. Um, so we're definitely going to dive into that. But let me flip ahead to the back of this Bible. And we're going to look at some stuff, of course. <laughs> so, okay. Flipping, 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 flipping. So they still, I see, have this in the same section, which was my biggest problem in the last Bible. So they have this here, which is um, the, the features of the study Bible for women. So you get your introduction, introductory information, which is like the basic um, key verses, timeline, content outline, the who, what, when we're hot, why um then you have your articles which are called biblical womanhood you have your word studies your hard questions your doctrines your character profiles your study notes and your applications um i feel like this should be at the front of the bible just because not many people are going to immediately go to the back of the bible to see this but um i mean it looks a lot more prettier than it did in the old bible and I keep saying the old one because the, this is based off of the HTSB, but it's just an updated translation with um, better graphics involved. So we're definitely going to do a side by side of these. But here you have your index of features. So all of your biblical womanhood, your articles. Then you have all of the character profiles. Then you have all of your charts. All of your doctrines are shared. All of the hard questions, and I think this was different. This was, um, how can I say it? Uh, this was, what is the word that I'm looking for? Oh my gosh. This was created differently, and I'm going to quickly um, flip to the back of my Bible in the HCSB to show you guys what I mean by that. Okay, first things first. I want to see if... Because I, I didn't even notice it, actually, at first. No, they don't. Okay, so that seems to be missing. But, uh, we'll see. Okay. Yes, this is very different. So, okay, this is the old one. My old HTSB study Bible for women. If you guys can see in the hard questions section, it's just all the, the questions and their page numbers, right? But this one, what I like that they did is that they separated by a uh, topic, which I think is a lot better. Um, yes, definitely have to do a side-by-side -side of this. You have your maps and reconstructions, and then all your maps. Your acknowledgments here. 
your citations. And ah, this is a new book, so a new Bible. So you have your contributors here. So those for the Old Testament and the New Testament. Then your concordance featuring all the women in the Bible. So it's telling you um, how it can guide you through because I guess every color has a specific meaning. So Old Testament is in this kind of like mint color. The New Testament is in this kind of coral color. And if it's in both the old and the new, they do it in purple, which I think it's really pretty. Yeah, so the colors are teal, coral, and purple. That is really cool. There are related terms to that. And um, yeah, it just really shows you how to use your concordance. This is very, very different. Very different from the um, old translation of the Bible. So I think I really like that. Um, I think I'm going to love this a lot more. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. Then you get your maps. So, I mean, maps are always fun, right? Right. I love maps. Do any of you love maps? <laughs> so, that's just the migration of Abraham. Then you have the route of the Exodus. The tribal allotment of Israel. Um, I will say the maps are not as bright as the old translation. But they're still as pretty. But, um, yeah, the paper quality... Feels pretty good is one thing I didn't forgot to mention. It feels really good, but um, there is a second bookmark which I should have showed you guys, um, and here it is. So again, this Bible does have two bookmarks, which would make sense because I think this is over two thousand pages. If I'm not mistaken, there are two thousand two hundred and forty pages in this Bible. So um, yeah. I really like this Bible. I highly recommend it. You can get it on Lifeway for $27.99. It does retail for $39.99. Let's see if I can get this to um and pay my broken nail no mind, you know. We have kids and all. $39.99 for this Bible. So um you can get it cheaper on Lifeway. I would say go to Lifeway to get it cheaper. Um but I am loving this Bible. I am dying to use this Bible <laughs> because it is so gorgeous and so pretty and just so well structured and created. And um, it's very much updated from the HCSB, which is this one. It's very much updated, um, which I can appreciate to the max just because I've had the old translation. So I can appreciate the little updates that they've done to the new one. But that's pretty much it for this video i will be using this bible i don't know how but i'm definitely going to be using it i'll figure it out because this bible is too pretty not to use and um that is pretty much it for this video so if you guys do want to see how i use this video just thumbs up this video i mean not this video if you want to see how i use this bible in the near future just thumbs up this video comment down below let me know and i can do that but other than that that is it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye